At the center of each embassy worldwide was a machine that unlocked a country's most confidential information. During the Cold War, ciphers were essential for diplomats, spies, and other officials to securely communicate across the globe. If a foreign intelligence service could lay their hands on a rival country's cipher machine from one of their embassies, they would have the ability to read any message sent anywhere, anytime. That's precisely what the CIA aimed to do with the Soviet cipher machine – steal it and intercept secret messages. Every individual enlisted for the mission had a designated role. Their objective was to secure the cipher machine. After quickly surveying the local jail as a precaution against potential capture, they were primed to commence their operation. Firstly, the CIA had to evacuate the Soviet embassy staff from the compound. They teamed up with the U.S. ambassador in the undisclosed country to extend an invitation to the Soviets for a hunt. After the Soviets agreed, the operatives had a limited time frame to infiltrate the embassy and retrieve the machine. Once they received the invitation to the hunt, they intended to use the delivery of the invitation to the staff as a way to scout the target building. The operatives examined the building itself and also surveyed the surroundings by using a camera hidden in the headrest of a car seat. Next, they had to enlist the help of a local contact, a police officer known as Tugboat, to handle any potential local issues and gather information about the door locks at the Soviet compound. Tugboat would have to disguise himself since he was well known around town. Thanks to Tugboat, the CIA team not only acquired keys to all the doors, but also obtained the blueprints of the building. On the day of the hunt, the CIA team, along with Tugboat in disguise, drove to the Soviet compound in a large van. They effortlessly passed through the unguarded first gate, parking the van discreetly beside the Soviet building to avoid detection from the street. Four men quickly exited and entered the premises equipped with special footwear and gloves. Two individuals headed upstairs to set up a pulley system, preparing to lower the machine into a crate specially crafted for this purpose. The other two went downstairs armed with an explosive designed to break through the locks of a steel door. After two small blasts, the device was lowered into the CIA's shipping crate. Two of the men hopped into the van where two other CIA officers were ready to drive away. Meanwhile, the other two CIA operatives scaled the back wall and departed in different directions, making their way to a prearranged meeting point. With no shoe prints or fingerprints left behind, the CIA team quickly drove off. After escaping from the embassy with their stolen cipher machine, the team made a stop at a garage to repaint the van, swap the license plates. They also modified the crate to give the impression that it had passed through customs in the originating country and was en route to Langley or another undisclosed location where top secret code machines are housed. Being too comfortable can be dangerous, and it's probable that the Soviet embassy staff met a grim fate because they became too relaxed. Their carelessness led to the loss of their most important piece of technology to the CIA of all organizations. But let us know what you think in the comments section below. If you found this content entertaining or helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this one. And thanks for watching.